What's up tennis players, parents, and professionals? Welcome to another Saturday Victory Tennis Program. We're bringing you lessons, drills, games for kids tennis. Um, all brought to you by free programming we provide to community. So help us out by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, sharing the video. Um, today we're gonna do ath uh, an athleticism tennis player obstacle course. Um, it won't include a bilateral kind of uncoiling body segments. I like to have kids just go out and throw things far to work on generating force on both sides. We can't do that because we're inside, but we are gonna do uh, footwork balance, controlling the center of gravity, and then a ball handling drill at the end. It's a really fun drill you can do with your kids to, to uh, develop athleticism or just to warm them up before your class. And then after that, we're gonna have the kids uh, do kind of a stroke technique contest where we really wanna make sure they understand those fundamentals that we find vital um, those technical ground stroke fundamentals to make sure they understand that. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and enjoy the class. Obstacle number one, the ladder drill. Pay attention. This is very basic, but people don't do it for some reason. It's not one foot in each box. That is wrong. Ayla, Ayla, this is incorrect. This is not right. Both your feet have to touch every single spot. Let's see everyone try that. Show me two feet every single spot. Go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You got it. Boom. Probably did that in football camp. Two, one, two, one, two. All right, don't go so fast you can't do it right. Dad, Slow Dad. down. You can go to the end of the line when it's your turn again. Ayla, let's go. One, two, one, two. Oh, see that? Ayla, so that's not bad, but that was just one foot in each. You got to go two feet. Let's see if Troy can do it. One. Nope, that was just one foot in each. AC, let's see if you can do it. One, two, one, two. There you go. Oh, he tried. He tried. Let's go, everyone, one more time. But basically, walk over the balance beam. So let's see you guys try that. Okay. Don't fall off, or else you, if you fall off, if you fall off the balance beam, you have to start at the beginning. You got to come back and start again, okay? So don't fall off. If, you're, if your feet touch off, then you got to go back to the beginning. Good job. Good job. Bam. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, just try to do it, just try to do it well, not fast. Listen, on this one guys, listen, the ball, listen, the ball has to start here and finish here. So after you're done, you gotta bring it back to this square. All you have to do is go around in between, back around, little kicks, little kicks, just barely tap it, back around again, and then when you stop it, you got to stop it back in that box before you go back. Good luck. You'll see. Let's see everyone do this first, guys. Let's stay right here. Little kicks, little kicks, around, through, and then back around. It's not, it's not cheating if he doesn't do it on purpose. He just doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing. Go back. Watch AC. Watch these other guys. Oh, see, he's doing it right on the way back. Now, you don't use your hands. Stop it in the square. Don't use your hands. No hands, no hands, end of the line. Not bad, good effort. Let's go, little kicks. Little kicks is the secret, guys. Don't try to go too fast is the secret. Ethan's got it, he's back around, he's back around, little kicks, little kicks, good job, good job. Oh, oh he wanted to use his hand, you see that? He's like, Arr! he wanted to use his hand. Get it back in the box. That's gonna be a hard one. That one's gonna slow people up a little bit. So, guys, watch, guys, watch. One, two, three, four, five. Listen, it just has to be a total of five. So if you go one, two, and then hit your shoe, get the ball, and then how many more do I have to do? Three. Three. So just three. So a total of five, and you've done the entire tennis player obstacle course. Everyone practice five bounce downs. Let's go. Get your racket, Troy. Five bounce downs. Let's go. Did you just skip? Yeah, there you go. AC, two feet every box, AC. Now you gotta remember your time when I give it to you. Ready? Evan's gonna go first. On your marks, get set, go. No, it's not a race. I'm going to Actually, now it is a race. Oh, no. nice. Evan's been good. No, no. Troy, you gotta wait till it's your turn. You gotta get it back around. Little kicks, little kicks, little kicks. Come on. Little kicks. I'm going Good job, get it. Oh, no hands. Let's go, five bounce downs, five bounce downs. You're good. Ooh, he's getting his racket. Five bounce downs. One, two, two, three, four, five. Stop. 
Boom. Okay. Evan got 32.14, so basically 32 seconds. That's the time to beat. Um, can anybody here right now stand up and demonstrate a forehand and backhand for us properly? Do we need our belt? You need your, you need your tennis racket, yeah. So a dream goal might be winning the French Open. A dream goal for me right now is you guys being able to stand right there, face the camera, and see if you can... Uh, why don't you go first, Stacey? Everyone else get, get in the blue box. Everyone back up here. All right, let's let him. You can go second, Evan. Troy, go behind Evan. You're going to stand right here. Ready? Uh, AC, you're going to go first. Do you know the ready position, AC? Let's see if AC knows it, guys. This is a short-term goal. Do you know the key positions? Ready position. Ready position. AC, do you know the forehand turn? Ooh. Do you now show now slowly show me your swing and then hold your picture position? Whoa, hello. Now, did you pat the doggy good enough there? Can you do that one more time and show me how good you can pat the doggy? Ready position? Here, let's start from the beginning. Ready position? Turn. Okay, and then when you go down, you want to pat the doggy, right? Pat the doggy. Forehand turn. Okay, now slowly go through your swing and hold the picture position. All right, so Troy has the forehand down. Now, is he going to use it? Because remember, when we want to win, we might end up start poking that thing to get it back over. We're not going to use our good swings. But if you want to get great, you'll try to win with your good swing, even if it means you might not win today. All right, let's try the backhand. Ready position. This is a hard one. So start from your ready position. Let's see the backhand turn. So the things I'm looking for here, guys, Good, now remember, top hand doesn't move. Wow, he nailed it, guys. Look, his, he changed his bottom grip and his arm got straight. Perfect right now. All right, now let's see the swing slowly. Swing and hold your picture position. That'll work, good job. Ready position. Forehand turn. Show us your swing and hold the picture position. Beautiful, ready position. Backhand turn. Good, let's check that out. Make sure that top, it looks like your top hand moved again, little dude. Get that racket back close to your body. All right, ready? Show us your swing and hold your picture. Nice. Okay, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting Victory Tennis Programs by liking, subscribing, sharing is caring. Thanks so much for being a part of this with us. Hope you're enjoying the content. See you next time.